Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually part two to my makeup declutter. If you have not already seen the first part, I will link it up above so you can go ahead and click on that and watch the first part. But we're going to go ahead and get on into the second part of my makeup declutter. Hope you guys enjoy. Okay, we've got some lips. So, oh, this is a lot. Um, my thought process here is like lip glosses are in this one. Lip liners and lip minis are in this one. This is all my seasonal stuff that I want to use right now. And then I have a little drawer back here for like non-seasonal stuff. So I'll pull that out in a bit. But let's start with the lip glosses. Okay. Um, I have these two that are white ones that I rarely use. Um, and I would say I like the Kylie formula better than this Too Faced formula. Um, this was this is Peppermint Bark. It was in one of those holiday um, sets last year. Kylie was also in a holiday set last year or two years ago and Ho Ho Ho. I really like this formula though, so I'm going to keep Kylie and get rid of Too Faced. Um, we have LA Colors High Intensity Lip Gloss in Fresh. I never use this. I don't even reach for it. I forgot that I had it. I'm going to get rid of it. It's probably old anyways. Um, we have got... Okay, let's pull out the rest of the Kylie ones. Um, this is... Wish come true, this like red one, and this gold one in Must Be Magic. I think I'm going to keep both of them. I really like these for like when I'm going for a really cool makeup look. And this is a beautiful formula. I do like her gloss formula, so I will keep both of those. Another one that I actually love is the Essence Shine 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 Lip Gloss. This is in Happiness in a Bottle. It's a beautiful shade. This lip gloss is actually like the best for 2 or $3. So I definitely recommend this. And I will be keeping it. Okay, let's move to this minis section. Okay, this was in an Ipsy bag, so that means it's over two or three years old. Uh, the Bomb Bomb Jour lip stain in Salute. Yeah, I don't, I don't ever use this. I'm gonna declutter it. It's probably old, anyways. Um, Peanut Brittle NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. I hate this formula. I also hate this color, and it's old from the Advent calendar, so I will get rid of it. That was easy. Oh, this is one from the Advent Color that I love, though. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Glazy Days. Oh, it's so beautiful. It does kind of leak, though, but it's the best color ever, so I'm going to keep it. Um, we have the Revlon Kiss uh, Balm Stick in Berry Burst. I like these balm sticks. They're really pretty for just, like, a splash of color. I will be keeping this. Okay, some liner pencils. Gonna pull all of them out. Okay, we've got oh, uh, lipstick queen and nude. I do love this one. If you can't tell, I've already used a lot of it already. Um, we've got a purple wet and wild liner. I can't say that I use this a lot. Uh, I'm gonna have to put this in a maybe section for now. So we've got the Wet n Wild Gel Liner in Bare to Comment. I do like this color. It's just like a very pinky color. I use this a lot in the spring, so I will keep this. We've got the Essence Soft Contouring Liner in Deeply Intoxicated. This is actually a good one for if I'm going for like a ombre lip. Keep that. And then the Jante Blue Lip Liner in Brown Sugar. Yeah, I like this one. I'll keep this one too. Still unsure about this one. Okay, we've got some... In here that are super old first off these are brand new i just got these at the mini sale for bath and body works this is the coffee lip scrub and the cocoa mint lip scrub i really like their lip scrub formula i haven't even opened these yet i'm definitely gonna keep them okay what is this this is a mary Kay lipstick oh yeah it's a deep purple i never wear this i'm gonna get rid of it <laughs> Um, okay, we've got these Ciate London Glitter Flips. These have got to be over three or four years old. I'm going to declutter both of them because they're super old. Do you guys remember those? You, like, put your lips together and they turn glittery. Okay, one that I'm absolutely keeping is the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine a Wet Lip Gloss in Behind the Scenes. It's just clear. It's beautiful. My favorite. Keeping that. Um, 
This one, I have two of these. I don't know where the other one is. It's probably back here, but this is the Girlactic Lip Paint. This, I swear to you, stays on forever. It is so beautiful in the shade Demure. One of my absolute favorites. I wore this last night to a wedding. Keeping it, for sure. I'm going to put it over here for now. Um, some chapsticks that I know I will be keeping because I go through those super fast. Burt's Bees Pomegranate. Yeah, I guess I'll put this over here. A vanilla Latte from Chapstick and a Hawaiian Tropic um, one with SPF that I'll keep for summer vacation this year. Okay, we've got all these NYX lingerie ones that are actually pretty old. So I think I'm just going to keep the ones that I use. I don't use this one. This is in embellishment because this is like gray purple. And I don't use this one either in black book because it's a little too pinky. This one is like a nude. It's push-up. I really do like this one. I use this one fairly often, so I will keep this one. Okay, these are brand spanking new that my friend, that actually my boyfriend's roommate's girlfriend, yes, that was complicated, gave me for Christmas. But I really love them. I've been using them a lot lately, so I will definitely be keeping them. I'm just going to put them over here for now. Um, okay, something, let's do some red lipsticks. So I rarely wear red. If I do, it's this Revlon Matte Balm in Standout. This is very old, but I'm going to keep it anyways because I use this one if I ever need to do a red lipstick, so I'll keep that. Um, I never use red lip gloss, which is what this Bell and Argent one is, so I'm going to get rid of it. I feel like that's just a bad idea for <laughs> a lip gloss is to use red. I would rather just use a clear gloss over that. Um, and then I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. Beautiful shade, but I'm going to be honest with you, these lip creams cannot stay on my lips to save their lives. If you do one wrong move, your lipstick goes everywhere. So I'm getting rid of it because I hate it. Speaking on that, I also have it in Budapest, which is honestly the most beautiful purpley shade. I use this for fall all the time just for like to film real quick, but I can't wear it for longer than that because it just gets everywhere. I hate the formula of these so much. I don't know what people were talking about when they loved this so much back in the day because it doesn't stay on like at all. But I love this shade, so I will be sad to see it go because of the shade, but I have to let it go. It's horrible. Okay, oh, another chapstick. Just a plain chapstick this time. I'll keep that. Some more of those holiday set lip glosses from Too Faced. This one is an eggnog, and this one is in Spice Cake. I don't really have anything like eggnog, so I'll keep that, and I don't have anything like Spice Cake either, so I'll keep both of those. Okay, another little gloss from Bath & Body Works in Winterberry. I actually really love this. It tastes good, too. It's a beautiful little shade. I'm going to keep that. Um, okay, some more darker lips. I have this ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Ziggy. Beautiful shade. I bought this last year. I bought quite a few um, fall lipsticks last year. Really, really love this. It's a beautiful orange shade. I'm keeping that. Um, this is the NYX Slip Tease in Fire Dancer, also one that just does not stay on your lips for anything. It's basically a, it's a lip oil. So I don't know why you would have a red lip oil because it's just, it gets everywhere. So I'm getting rid of this. I hate it. It's horrible. Um, we've got the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in Cedar Later, also one that I use primarily in the, in the fall or in winter. Seriously, the most beautiful shade. I will be keeping this. Another one that I really love using in the fall and winter is the Ulta Beauty, oh, upside down, Ulta Beauty Lipstick in Chocolate Kiss. It's just like a regular bullet lipstick. Super simple, but you can tell I've used a lot of it. I've probably used half of it already, and I love it, and I've already gotten my friends onto it. It's just a beautiful shade, so I will absolutely be keeping this one. Um, another fall lipstick that I use a lot is this Maybelline one in spice for me this isn't like the spice shades or something i can't remember what it's called but it's really pretty it's like this beautiful orange color it surprises you when you pull it out but it's actually gorgeous on the lips so i will be keeping this for fall i love it okay coming back to this one i think i am going to declutter it because i don't i didn't really keep any purple lipsticks so i think i will declutter this one. Oh, and i did forget about this other revlon color burst matte balm this one is in Sultry, my favorite shade. I use this all the time. It's a beautiful, beautiful, just simple pink lip color. So I will keep this. Let's move all these back over here. I'll leave this here. Okay. 
I'm going to move this for a sec so we can get to this one back here. So this is usually like, this will be my like spring and summer scents because, not scents, spring and summer lipsticks because I'm it's not spring or summer right now. Um, so first I have this Mary Kay lip tint in Desert Flora. They don't sell this anymore. It's pretty old. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, we also have another Revlon uh, Color Burst Balm or just Balm, I guess is what it's called. In cherry, I will keep this. I plan on using it in the spring and summer because it's a good shade for that time. Um, okay, the pink one for Too Faced in Sugar Plum. I do actually use this quite a bit um, in the spring and summer, so I will keep this as well. Another NYX Liquid Suede. I hate this formula. This is in Starstruck. This like bright pink. I always like thought I would keep it and use it in the summer, like if I ever wanted to be bold, but I just haven't ever used it so I'm gonna get rid of it um, another pink that I actually do use is from Clinique I got it for free for something I don't remember in love pop and it's a beautiful like shimmery pink lipstick and I actually love it a lot it's so pretty um, oh okay here is a purple lipstick actually from Mac I got it on national lipstick day for free uh, no wonder why because it's absolutely adorable not adorable absolutely horrible i hate this color it wears horribly i will be decluttering it <laughs> okay oh here's my other galactic one this is in blossom it's like a pinky shade so see the difference between these two this one's like more of a nude and this is like super pink this is what i will wear if i ever want to wear a bright pink uh bold lip color i will absolutely wear this one Another one that I thought I would keep and use as a bright pink bold lipstick is this Too Faced Melted one in Melted Candy. I absolutely hate this. This is the worst formula ever. And this shade is like bright pink Trolls doll color. So I'm going to get rid of it. It's horrible. Put it over here. Um, the Physician's form Formula Muru Muru Butter Balm in... Brazilian Sunset. It's a really pretty color. It gets everywhere, but I actually love this in the summer, so I'm going to keep it. It's like an orange color. The NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in black. If you thought that it wouldn't stay on your lips in any other color, why not black? No, it absolutely doesn't. I kept this for, for a few years for Halloween looks, so I'm going to get rid of it. It's too old, and I hate the formula. And the last one over here is the Rare Beauty Mini Lipstick in Confident. This color is actually a little too light for me. I feel like it's meant for people a little bit paler than I. So I will be get, getting rid of it and maybe giving it to a friend. Because it's brand new. I just got it this summer as a free gift with purchase. Or no, as a free birthday gift at Sephora. So I'll keep this for a friend. Put it over here. Okay, actually that's everything for the lipstick drawer. Perfect. Okay, let's move on. This one down here has all my palettes, my fake lashes, and things of that sort. So let's go ahead and go down here. So as you can see in my palette drawer, I pretty much put everything in its own little basket. I like to do that so that these drawers don't get all dirty, but okay. Some of these palettes, I don't think I've bought an eye palette in a few years. Um, my most recent palettes are these two. Um, and actually this hourglass one. So let me show you those first because I'm definitely going to keep all these. Um, this is the Anastasia Soft Glam 2. I think I bought it in 2021. I really, really love it. I travel with this one often. Um, I bought the Hot Buttered Rum from Too Faced in 2020. Love this. It's gorgeous. I use it all the time, especially in the fall and winter. I use it all right now. I used it yesterday, honestly. So yeah. And then the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, I think this is from 2020. Made a lot of good purchases in 2020, actually. It's beautiful. I use it a lot, especially for special occasions. It's just beautiful. So definitely keeping those three. Okay, now that I did that, let's go to the face palettes first. So I have the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. Um, this one I actually really like. Okay, we've got... Some highlights, some bl blushes and bronzers. I love this bronzer. I love this blush. I love this highlight. I actually use this for eyeshadow a ton in like the spring and summer. I was obsessed with this as eyeshadow. This one I don't use as much because it's kind of pink with a blue shift. Um, but I will be keeping this palette because I really love it. I, I, I use it fairly often. Okay, we've got the Revolution by uh, with in collaboration with Soph X on YouTube. Highlighter palette. 
really pretty. It has so many shades. I use these for highlight, I mean for eyeshadows and for fun highlights and stuff whenever I want that. So I'm going to keep it. Yeah. And then this one is from Naked Cosmetics. It is very holographic. Um, many colors of highlights. The only time I really use this is if I'm going to like a concert or like something fun and I want to bring this with me for friends to use. So I will keep this though because it's fun and I don't really have a lot of fun stuff like this so I'm going to keep this. Most of that fun stuff that I'm talking about I decluttered quite a while ago so okay. I can barely pull all this stuff up. Okay, there's too many things. Um, so right here I have this Mary Kay single pan. This is just like a powder, um, just a mineral powder. So I'll keep this because it's useful. Um, I have the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. This is like one of the only palettes I have that has a lot of color in it. I do actually really like this palette, especially the deep blue and the pink right here. They're really cool, so I will keep this. Um, but if I don't use it by the, by this time next year, I'll get rid of it. The Ace Beauty Grandiose Palette, which I never use. Very odd color scheme. I just don't think it was meant for my skin tone or something. I don't use it, so I'm going to get rid of it. That was fairly easy to get rid of because I never use it. The Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette, which I asked for for Christmas in 2020. And I love it. I use it a lot. Um, mostly these like, these like shimmer shades, this shade, this, 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 not really these, but this brown, yes. So I do like it a lot, especially in the fall and winter when I'm going for like this warm kind of shade range. So I will definitely keep this. I tend to like the Too Faced, uh, tin palettes that they bring out. Okay. I have two ABH palettes. I have Norvina and Subculture. Norvina I actually bought at TJ Maxx. I think actually I bought Subculture at TJ Maxx too. Um, but I do love this palette. I especially use this in spring and summer, so I will be keeping it. I used to travel with it all the time. Honestly, one of my favorites, so I will be keeping that. And then I have the Subculture palette. It's kind of weird. I don't really use it that much, but I love this electric color. It's one of my favorite colors ever that I own. Um, so I will keep it for that, honestly. And sometimes I'll use this, this like peachy shade or this chocolate every now and then I'll dip into like one of these, never these two or the yellows. I'm just not a yellow person. Sometimes I'll go for the greens actually. So I'll keep this. Um, we'll see. I'll sit on this for a year and then decide if I want to declutter it after a year. Um, I have the crown pro palette in fuego, I believe is what it is. I never use this. It looks really pretty. I just never use it. So I'm going to get rid of it. I, I have no qualms about that one. I, I never use it. Um, this is the Olimar Cosmetics Reina del Caribe Volume 1 palette. I love it. I use it pretty much every single summer. I go to towards this color or this color or this color or this color. I love it. I love it. Um, I never really use this orange or red, but sometimes I'll use this one and this one. So I'll keep this one because... I really do actually enjoy using it. Um, I have the Kylie Cosmetics Dear Santa palette. I don't know how I feel about this because I never used it even when I first got it. But I feel bad like getting rid of it because I never tried it. So I'm going to try and use it this next year. And if I don't use it by then, then I'll get rid of it. But I think I still have some testing to do with it. Especially these shimmery shades. I feel like I could make a really good look out of this purple and like these two together. So I need to play with this a lot more. I definitely need to play with this more. But I just honestly haven't been doing that much eyeshadow lately. So uh, that is one bad thing about COVID. Not one bad thing. Obviously, there's tons of bad things about COVID. But I feel like, and I've heard this from multiple people, I feel like makeup has not become as fun anymore because I'm just wearing a mask all the time. And, like, it's such a hassle to deal with makeup under a mask. And I do want to be wearing my mask. Like, that's not the problem. So, I've kind of, like, grown away from spending a lot of time on my makeup. Because it just doesn't matter to me anymore. So, I don't know. Maybe that's also me growing up as well. Unsure. My hands are, like, super glittery. Whoops. Um, okay, next palette. The Take Me to Brazil BH Cosmetics palette. They have a, a ton of these. Um, 
take me to whatever palettes that are like super colorful look how beautiful really amazing I love this palette however it is over five years old and I haven't touched it in a few years so I will get rid of it it pains me but if I ever need more color like this I know I can just pick up another BH Cosmetics palette so I'm gonna get rid of it that's kinda of sad because it used to be my go-to but I just don't do colorful looks anymore um, and then I have some single shadows from Mary Kay and I have some blushes and I have this one from Ofra I never use any of these I use these purples a lot though actually and I use this green for Christmas and I use this red in the summer okay so I use them I just have to remember that they're here <laughs> but I'll keep this okay that's a little more space over here I feel good about that here, here's some tools for my lashes um, I never use this. I used to use it all the time. I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't. I don't use. It's supposed to be like a shield for your eyes. Whenever you put mascara on, so you don't get mascara on your eyelid. But I don't think I need that anymore. I have a little Sephora t lash tweezer. I love this. Super good. Definitely recommend it. This is a eyelash curler that I got in like a boxy charm or something. I never use it, but I have it if I need it. Sometimes I need it for fake lashes. I have some lash scissors and some duo glue. This is a brand new one, so that's good. All those can stay. Let me just like move this out the way so I can get to these lashes. So I have quite a few pairs of lashes in here. I'm gonna go through some of the ones I just bought. So these are dull ones with the snowflakes on them. I just bought these. It's a three pack of faux minks, my favorite kind of lashes. Definitely keeping this, I, I literally just bought it. Um, another one that I just bought is the Eyler London in Vegas Nay. This is also brand spanking new. I think I got this on Cyber Monday sale, so keeping that for sure. Um, I have some glitters back here, by the way. These are just like loose glitters. I'm going to keep these because I did actually use them for a concert recently. Oh my god, I'm getting glitter everywhere. Ah, that might need a new bag, but I'm going to keep that. Um, I have these ones. They're like glam lashes. I got these off of, uh, um, like AliExpress or something. I kind of like them though. They're not they're not bad. Um, another ones I got off of AliExpress because they're literally in a different language. Oh, they're upside down. They're pretty. I never use them though. They don't actually look that pretty. I might get rid of them. Um, and then these ones also in a different language and they have purple in them. I didn't realize that they were purple. I'm definitely getting rid of, rid of them. Um, and I'm going to get rid of these. These are ugly. These, however, I might keep. I feel like they're fancy enough. Okay. Nice. Um, and then I have a little color switch back here, which I actually need to clean because it's pretty bad. I'm going to clean that and pull it out. And then I have this little lash case, which I did get from... AliExpress or maybe Shop Miss A. And it has lashes that I have used once or twice before and cleaned. So, okay, here's that um, one of those Wish ones in here that are clean. I have some outer lashes. I like, I like the quarter lashes. They look good. Um, and then I have some little bitty ones that I just like trimmed off of other lashes. So... But yeah, I like this lash case. It's pretty nice. Keeping that. Oh, and then I have some face gems. Um, just cause. You never know. You never know. They don't take up much space. I really don't mind that. So I'll leave it there. Okay. Put this back. So I'm going to like reorganize a few of the drawers and I will come back to you with the final product. Okay, I have you guys zoomed in a bit. Um, but this is the drawer that's under my brush drawer this is the one for like um cheek stuff and things like that traditionally um but i moved this organizer to this drawer because it had a lot more compartments so now this side is all the complexion products so the, the liquid stuff a few more liquid cream products cheek colors highlights and um, powder i still have that uh truffle mist back here mists uh, foundation primers and then a little more of complexion and then now we're into the brow stuff the single shadow liquid shadows more liners and mascara so that one turned out better and then the lipstick drawer I didn't really do much to I didn't change it a lot so I just made it look a little nicer 
Um, this drawer, can you see that? No, you can't. So this one actually turned into a by the body works drawer because I was kind of overflowing with minis. So these are all like my body cream minis, a couple hand creams, body lotion, shower gel, mini spray, a bunch of pocket backs back here. Um, I have some wallflower fragrance refills. I have a, another uh, hand lotion and then another uh, refill and then a uh, spray, room spray. And then down here, looks pretty much the same. Uh, I didn't really move anything, so this is all like the makeup palettes and lashes. And if you're curious, I'll show you what else is down here because there's more drawers. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, this one's also, I kind of forgot about this drawer. <laughs> this is my Bath & Body Works to return drawer. This might just end up being, oh, sorry, a put on, um, not Poshmark, what's it called? Mercari uh, drawer of stuff because this is stuff I don't enjoy. And I never brought it back because I honestly forgot that I had this drawer. So, anyways... Um, and this is like a hair slash miscellaneous drawer. So it has my blow dryer. Uh, this is a little travel mirror I just put in this Shop Miss A bag. This is a bunch of headbands from Amazon that I never use. I'm actually just going to declutter this. Um, another headband that I don't use. going to declutter that. Uh, some more headbands that I never use. I'm actually just going get, to get rid of these right now because I didn't think I would, but... I never use these. I used to use these every single day in college to get my hair back. They're too stretched out to even wear anymore. And then these have so much makeup on them, I'm embarrassed. So I'm going to get rid of those. Um, but this is my blow dryer. It is from Chi. And then I have a little diffuser attached. I use this whenever I put my hair curly. Absolutely keeping this. Um, I have a few suntan things left over from um, uh, summer, vacation last, summer vacation last year. So this one I'll keep, this Aveeno sunscreen milk I'll keep, Mary Kay after sun I'll keep, this is a jewelry cleaner I forgot that I had, but it's good to have, a shimmer self tanning mist, I feel like this is actually a disaster waiting to happen, I'm going to throw this away, it's also probably super old, um, a, this is funny, you guys are going to laugh, a Zoella solid perfume. Do you remember when Zoella came out with her own, her own bath line? It it doesn't even smell good. It probably... Oh, maybe it still works. Let's see. No, I can't smell it on my skin. I'm just going to get rid of this. I kept it, honestly, for memories. But I'm going to get rid of it. I don't need it. So, that's fun. Um, and then, a just like a spray bottle for my hair. So, keeping that. It just has water in it. Nothing crazy. Okay, I'll put this stuff back. Which is really just a blow dryer. I have some more after suns. Like we, I have so many of these. <laughs> we get them every year for vacation. And I think I just forget that I have them. And I usually hand these out to people like every summer because people need them. And then I have a cortisone cream. I'll stick that in here too. That was from this little drawer, dresser thing that I have right here. And then this is my actual hair drawer that I use pretty much daily. I hope you can see that. Yeah. So I have my Chi Iron Guard that I use, my Matrix Blow Dry Oil. I have a bunch of these little clippies. I use those every time I do my hair. I have a little mini paddle brush back here that I use all the time. I have this uh, True Beauty blow dryer thing that I probably need to clean, but I use this every time I do my hair. This is my straightener. And here I use a Numi straightener. I just got this little uh, straightener holder for Christmas, but this is my new me straightener. I've had it for years. I absolutely love this thing. I will use it till it dies, and then I'll buy a new one from Numi. And then I have some other hair curlers that I never use. This is from Beauty Labs. I never use this. So I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I have this mini one from PYT, I believe. Yeah, PYT. I got it in a boxy charm or something. I do uh, bring this to travel if I don't have room for this giant one, so I'll keep this. Um, this one, I also don't see a need for because it gives me the same look of curls that this blow dry brush gives me, so 
I think I'm going to get rid of this. I'll see if my mom wants any of those before I actually trash them. Um, but they're all fairly old. I would say most of these pro these um, hair tools are over two years old. And then I have this one from Revlon. Um, that's also a hair curler that I will keep because I do actually really like this one. If I ever want to curl my hair, which I have not done in years. Okay. That is everything. So that actually did work out. Okay guys, so that is it for the declutter video. I actually just went ahead and decluttered the entire Alex 9 drawer system, which had a few hair tools and things like that in it. I do actually have my hair products in my nightstand um, on the other side of my bed, but I've actually just recently gone through this, so I don't need to declutter it. I went through it probably last week. Um, I just forgot that I had tools in that Alex 9 drawer unit, but anyways. That's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm not like super ruthless with decluttering things, but I did get rid of a lot, especially lipsticks and stuff for your for my lips because some of that stuff is pretty old. Um, but yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I love watching declutter videos, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know down below if you are also decluttering for the new year. I wish you the best of luck because that is hard. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.